I'm here with Rosalind LaPierre at Western Montana Fair, and we're talking all things fry bread. So fry bread here at the fair is one of the most popular foods that people come when they come to the fair, they, uh, they get, and they often think that this is a traditional food that indigenous people have had for years, um, and it really isn't. Fry bread, the food we all know and love, has only been around for a hundred years or so. Um, it is a food that developed out of um, a system uh, of rationing um, when the United States government um, provided um, American foods to indigenous people. These rations were things like flour, salt, and oil, which are key ingredients in today's fry bread recipes, but were not a part of traditional diets for indigenous tribes. Uh, so indigenous people took the foods um, that the United States government provided and were creative. Today, many indigenous people adapted fry bread into their culture. And for Vanessa Sanchez, the owner of Fat Baby Fry Bread, it has helped her provide for her family. I love feeding people. My love language is definitely food. She says despite fry bread's origin, she is moving the small piece of indigenous history into a positive direction. Being a really successful business, growing as much as we did, and people loving my bread and our huckleberry butter, that means everything to me. You said, yeah, my first piece of fry bread, those are always the spare ones. <laughs> well, it is part of our culture now. Even though it's only been around for about 100 years, we have adapted it into something that is well known in all of our communities. As fry bread served its purpose, indigenous people are finding hope in reconnecting to traditional foods they were once not allowed to eat. And a lot of indigenous communities now are actually revitalizing their native foods and their native plants and going back to native foods. Foods like bison, prairie turnips, bitterroot, and service berries, but fry bread still has its place today. It's still made out of love and it's still made to feed other people. And fry bread will continue to be a food that we all love. In Missoula, I'm Robin Iron, MTN News.